Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today I would like to show you the super easy way of sending redstone signal through the nether portal from one dimension to the other. I will also show you a couple of slightly modified versions that use different layouts of the setup. The system consists of two parts. We have the selector panel in one dimension and the receiver in the other dimension. The way this works is that when we press a node block, we send a corresponding hopper minecart into the nether. There it goes over a detector rail and then bounces back into the portal. The detector rail sends a signal into this dropper system that allows us to choose only one output at a time. If you don't need the output filter, you can use this setup instead. The system can be built in both directions, so if you build the receiver in the overworld, you can send signal from the nether. We start with the selector panel setup in the overworld. I will show you how to build two buttons which you can then stack horizontally with a few limitations depending on which signal output you choose. I will explain that later. The bottom rails are six blocks long. We use them for signal transmission. We then need to make sure that we build exactly the same size portal in the nether. Both portals need to be also facing the same direction. We then build these rails in the direction in which the minecart enters the nether. I have built this on the nether roof for convenience, but it doesn't have to be on the roof. We add detector rails and sticky pistons with observers to get individual signals. Try the system to see if the minecarts return. Next, we build a signal filter. Depending on what you will use this system for, you can choose the signal output that you need. Make sure the bottom droppers are facing up and the top droppers facing down. Make sure you use glass for this platform.
We then put one item of any kind in each bottom dropper. This setup can be then stacked up to 15 outputs. You can then try different modifications of the setup with different positions of the notebox. If you are wondering why this could be even useful, make sure to subscribe and then turn on notifications because I'm planning to release some videos that use this system such as a nether roof elevator or instant teleportation. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments, I'm always happy to hear them. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day!